The head of the International Monetary Fund praised and criticized Uganda in eco measure as she held the level of investment in infrastructure but also warned against the ever rising debt as a result of borrowing. Relying on borrowing alone to finance infrastructure will not cut the bill in and of itself and it would be unworkable because debt would become too high. So what needs to be done? Infrastructure without financing, nobody knows the magic recipe for that. So financing must come also from the mobilization of domestic revenue. Here again, there has been some progress. With a 13% to GDP collection of revenue, Uganda is doing a bit better. But it is still far away from the objective that has been set by the East African communities target of 25% of GDP. Speaking about Uganda's much vaulted oil production, which could inject petrodollars into the economy, Lagarde opined that the absence of strong institutions will diminish the benefits accrued. Now many of you, I'm sure, have heard of the curse of natural resources and how countries that suddenly can rely on natural resources such as oil if they don't put in place the right institutions, the right governance, the right level of transparency, and if they don't target revenues extracted out of Mother Earth, will actually not reap the benefits of those resources. A former chief economic advisor to the finance minister, Dr. Fred Muhumza, said that without functional institutions, sound economic policies will go to waste. So we cannot even conclude and say we have good policies which we do not implement. How did you judge that they are good when they remain on the shelf? And what makes policies run are the institutions. As long as we still have these bad, weak institutions and we have governance issues and this he mentioned in no unclear terms, we are headed for not the good space. As Uganda's economy remains sluggish, the high-profile visit of Lagarde, who presides over one of the Bretton Woods Institute, could re-energize policy works. However, without enforcing fiscal discipline, developing the nascent manufacturing sector and curtailing excessive borrowing, her visit will remain ceremonial rather than solve any pragmatic lessons. Malcolm Sime, NTV Weekend Edition.